Okay, after you set your Roland driver to vendor as detailed in the first uh, video on using this uh, Roland FA06 with your DAW and you've downloaded and installed the driver as done by the instructions because it comes with a readme file and you just get it off of the Roland site as detailed in the first video, the overview. The next thing you do is you open your DAW. Now I'm using Sonar 6 LE, which is a wonderful little program. It's virtually foolproof and it runs good with minimal effort on the hardware. And uh, since I have a laptop here right above my FA06 to use as a scratch pad recorder, I thought we would show you here. Now you see when we go to options we have MIDI devices and we have audio. Okay, after you install, well it's actually open the audio and um, I am using the ASIO driver. The Roland FA06 supports the ASIO as well as the WAVE driver but I prefer to use ASIO drivers with sonar. They work really well and they don't give me any trouble. Now I also have another um, MIDI audio interface that runs with ASIO so what I tend to do is I use one or the other if I'm dealing with audio I don't try to use all two although all two will install but you have to make the Roland one the master if you have if you're trying to work all two together anyhow it's easy because they're both USB based so I simply turn off my other audio MIDI interface and right now all I have is the Roland so let us show you here what is affected as you can see the third tab is drivers so if we go there, we see that the FA0608 drivers are in place. Both the in and out audio driver are in place and selected. And this will happen by default. They will be selected once, the, once you uh, turn on the FA06 and have it connected with your USB cable prior to starting up your DAW. You should never turn off the FA06 with your DAW still up or the system is likely to hang. Now you see I've got my driver mode as ASIO rather than WAVE and um, down here in the bottom it says that my ASIO device is FA0608 and it has one input and one output. The MIDI drivers are here under MIDI devices. Now you're going to get three separate drivers here. You're going, to, sorry, three separate devices. It's one USB driver, but you have several devices. Now notice we have FA0608 by itself. Then we have FA0608 DAW control. And then we have simply FA0608 control. Move the tab to USB audio and there you see the USB audio and the USB, USB audio input destination. You have one of three destinations for your incoming audio. You can send it to the main, you can send it to the sub output or you can send it to the main output but through the total effects if you want to put some effects on your audio so we have it being sent to the main now for the audio that's going out you come down here and you can send it uh, from the main you can send it from the input directly so that you use your input jack, your guitar or microphone directly out to the USB audio 
or you can use it with the input plus the effects which is a noise suppressor and some reverb that you have on your input jack so where it says input effects and input those would be those would have nothing to do with the keyboard at all you're just basically using the input jack as your audio input and your keyboard is doing nothing more but acting as a audio interface you're just using the the analog to digital converter in it and when you set it to main which is where it's set right now you will in fact be able to play the FAO 6 and record the audio or whatever audio comes out of the main output jack and it's being regulated it's coming through the output of the FAO 6 so when I turn off the volume on the FAO 6 it's gone and of course I can also play along with it if I want because it's just added and comes out of the main outputs of the FAO 6. Okay, this one was recorded with the jet plane FA 0608. Listen to how it sounds. Now as you can see this one is using the FA06, FA08 DAW control Omni as the input and it's it's sending it out on the FA0608 control. So I haven't got the DAW switch turned on but the keyboard is coming out perfectly okay on the DAW control port and uh, playing back perfectly okay into the control port. So. It doesn't really seem to matter. It seems that the only one that doesn't work with the keyboard playing is the actual FA0608 for some reason. Not quite sure why. But um, this one working fine as you can hear it now. So, um, folks, I don't know uh, why it behaves the way it does, and Rollins in literature is very poor on the, uh, the interaction with the computer and the, the thing. No wonder um, people are so uh, confused when it comes to trying to use the FAO6, FAO8 with their DAW, with all these confusing inputs and confusing behaviors. I guess most people just have to do like what I did, just experiment and see what works for them. But please post your comments below. I'd love to hear of your experiences, what software you're using, and uh, what results you're getting. Thank you so much for watching the Stephen Mendes channel, and I'll hope to see you soon again.